Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to let's play Vagrant Story on the PlayStation Network. The last time, we uh, got lost and couldn't figure out where to go, and uh, I figured out where to go off screen, and it was really fucking obvious, so I feel like a dumbass. I almost went online and looked it up, and then I figured it out like right before I went to go went to go to Google. Uh, not Google, but uh, GameFAQ. But yeah, I figured it out before I actually looked online. Glad I did, because otherwise I would have felt like an idiot. Anyways, um, you'll notice that I have six weapons now instead of seven. The Evil's Bane is gone. Um, what happened there was I combined that blade with another blade from my uh, inventory in my chest that I didn't realize I had. That made a slightly stronger blade, and then I combined that one and the Draconian Beast into the Wakazashi blade right there, which is, I believe, the second most powerful sword blade. So now my sword blade on my Draconian Beast is a little a little more powerful, so it works out pretty well. And honestly, um, and honestly, my Liquid Mercury does more than a good job on the evil enemies, so it's not even missing anything, really. So, I'm good either way. I'm not going to miss it that much. I, I, I tended to this default to the Liquid Mercury anyways, so... And one of these days, I'll get rid of this damn stabber since I never use the damn thing. And I, I was looking through my uh, chest, and I have like 10 or 11 power palms, so I have more than enough of those things. I don't know why I have so many, but oh well. Anyways, yeah, all that stuff is uh, been done, and also my shield has been upgraded into the Jezerant shield, so that's the second highest shield, with the final one being the Dread shield, and it actually looks pretty nice too, if I do say so myself. Yeah, there you go, nice and red-like, so it looks pretty good. Anyways, uh, we are back in the Escape Way, the Darkness Trinks, and. This exit right here, to Undercity West, um, I thought that was just taking us back to somewhere we had already been. And as it turns out, it was. But what I forgot was that that room that it takes us to... Let's see. That room that it takes us to... Is this room right here. You remember this room? On that uh, bottom half right there? That's where that damn armor guy is at. And uh, he tries to degenerate you as you're coming up the stairs from the bottom left. And there's those two little islands way out in the back that you can't see to save your life. And yeah, apparently this is how you get to them. And I barely figured that out before I went online to look it up. So yeah, apparently we were on the right track and I was an idiot. So. Let's go in here and see if we can't get anything of use. I bet you anything that guy's gonna try to, uh... That guy's gonna try to, um... Power himself up from across the screen. That's one thing I hated about, uh, going through the game again, is... Oh, well this guy is right here. Okay. Um, yeah, enemies still power themselves up across the screen or whatever. And the one thing that I... Oh, there's two of you. The one thing that really irritated me is... You could skip cutscenes, but you could not skip uh, boss intros. So those took up a good 10 or 15 seconds each time. Ooh, a tilt glove. I can use that. Uh, let's see. Ooh, you. And you know what? Your weapon appears to be in your left hand, so I'm going to see if that helps at all. I don't think it will, but... And you paralyzing son of a bastard. Oh, well. He thinks he's slick. He's not. Yeah, you couldn't sit, you couldn't skip boss fights. I got really irritated with some of those enemies that were all of a sudden you're you're trying you're trying to go through an area and all of a sudden the screen pauses and zooms in half a fucking uh, half a fucking screen to the west and you see some guy cast terracles on him and his buddy and he does that like three or four times and you have to wait for him to clear the fuck up because you can't get to him. Yeah, it was mildly irritating, but nothing too bad, I guess. Okay, um, here's the thing, though. I don't think I can make... Oh, you can, okay. I was about to say, I don't think you can make that jump, and apparently you can. And two traps in a row, that's a real bastard move there. By the way, apparently traps will never kill you. They'll take you down to... Ooh, gold key and Valens. Uh, Valens, I think, is the, uh, the strength? Or is that the HP? I don't remember. Uh, apparently traps will take you down to one HP, but they will never kill you, so that's pretty nice. And I don't think I need you, but let's find out. Um, well, let's start by 
Yeah, see, that took me down to 1 HP there. So that's uh, not good for my health. Ow. Okay. Um, here's the part where I remember that I'm silenced. And I say, screw this. And go for that cure potion. That's the ticket. What was I saying? Um, something about enemies and something. I don't remember. The important thing is we got the gold key there, which is pretty nice. Uh, what the fuck was I saying? Um, something about the phantoms and enemies appearing from across the screen, or I don't remember. Must not have been that important. By the way, this uh, apparently Blunt is actually a good type against like phantoms and stuff. So this is going against these guys pretty well, actually. And conveniently enough, there is a gold key door immediately to our left. Well, maybe not immediately, but like two or three rooms to our left. And you. Damn little doll bastards. I don't think that room counted towards more map completion, since we had already been in the room just on the other side. And damn, these traps do a ton of damage for some reason. I don't know why, they just do. They do, they do, they do. Do you guys remember the Good Burger movie with uh, Keenan and Kel? Welcome to the Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. How am I take your order? That movie was so stupid, but it was so awesome. And, uh... I think I think in all that, uh, the fat guy, what was he, uh, he was a superhero that was allergic to milk. Uh, that guy was great. I haven't seen him much lately, though. So, I guess they, I guess their careers didn't really take off that well. But yeah, Good Burger, that was the fucking... I forget what it was about, but... I remember it was hilarious at the time. I, th I think when I came out, let's see, it came out in like the mid 90s. Uh, so I was like 14, 15, 16, something like that. So it was a long, it was a long time ago. I don't really remember the TV show. I just remember the movie. Because uh, I remember the, it wasn't a TV show, it was a skit on all that, I think. But I don't really remember the movie that much, or the, the TV, the TV uh, episode skits, whatever. I do remember the movie, I just don't remember the rest of it. Alright, here is our... Gold Encrusted Doorway. And let's see, according to my notes, we have, for the gold key, there are... Five areas, okay, or at least five doors. Some of them might lead to the same place. I don't know. I haven't checked, but there's five total areas, and Mr. Uh, Water Phantom is okay. Let me see if I can get that damn armor on this guy. They probably can't, but uh, I just want to. I just want to see. That's all I do. That's all I want to do. Okay, Enchanter, uh, Pyro Guard. I can, and it doesn't work. Okay, so what the fuck? It won't let me target the ones that it possibly would be good on, and the ones that I can target it on, it would be good on. It doesn't work, you sons of bitches. Okay, um, you know what? I am going to do my damn best to hit you with a water spell. I'm not sure if it'll work, but I will try my best. Alright, first off, I want to Psycho Drain you. Yes, yes, yes. And now... Now, my question is, can I silence your ass? I probably cannot, but I will try my darndest. I cannot silence you. Okay, so that means my next course of action is to... put on my strongest magical weapon, intellect weapon, whatever. That would be Mr. 29 Big Shot right here. By the way, I think it is human and phantom and evil and undead, not the other way, not, not evil and 
<clears throat> not evil and uh, phantom and undead. And, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying. It's human and phantom. There you go. I just kind of forgot. Okay, uh, now I want to. Okay, I already, I already enchanted my brain. You're psycho drained. Um, I'm not sure if this is gonna help, but it might. So I'm not sure. Um, so I'm going to. Let me see some here. Okay, you can't even target their weapons. I guess they don't really have much weapons. Um, I wanted to put my frost weapon on my weapon here. I'm not sure if it'll matter that much, but I'll try. And now... Now I want to try to cast a level 4 water spell if I have it. Okay, let me see here. Uh, for our... Okay, so for our... We have water blast, which will do... 260 damage. Yikes. That would kill him outright, I believe. But I want to try I want to go for the uh I want to go for the I want to go for the despair. Okay, that might not hit that might not fully hit him, but it's going to hit me, that's for sure. Okay, what? Okay, so it would do good damage to him. Um, and decent damage to me. Uh, let's see, Avalanche. I could have swore I had another water spell, but I guess not. Okay, you go up in the air. That means it's harder for me to get hit. That works out for me. I don't care. Um, hang on. Alright, uh, Grimoire Avalanche. Alright, that's the ticket. Okay, that should hit him. And me a little bit. No? There you go. That hits him completely. And for 200 damage, assuming it hits everything. I'm assuming it's not going to hit everything, but it'll hit enough areas I'm hoping to knock his ass out. Nah, I... Ooh, it hit all four areas. That was a thousand points of damage right there. That guy did not stand a chance. But yeah, you see how big those areas of effect for those damn spells are? You gotta be careful with those fuckers, otherwise you will get hit and it will hurt. Ooh, a Damascus uh, mace. Nice. Uh, I already, don't I already have radio surge? And another meteor. Uh, I think I have radio surge, right? Oh, uh... Is that a different light elemental attack? That might be a different attack. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Yeah, Spirit of Light and Raise of Light. Yeah, that's a different attack. Okay. That's pretty cool, actually. Alright. Um, let me try to figure out where we're going to go to next. Uh, Sit tight, guys. I'm going to try to figure out where the heck we're going to next. Let's see. We use the gold key in the escape way, which is this area. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Excuse me. Uh, limestone quarry. Do we have access to that map that we can use the key on? I don't know. If we do, we'll go there. If not, we'll go somewhere else. Uh, I'm looking for the timely dew of sleep. We might have it. We might not. I don't know. There we go. And it is... Okay, the auction block. Okay, that's where we're gonna go then. We shall go to the auction block and use that gold key right there. And I think there's only one more key after this. Uh, that's the uh, steel key. And apparently that only has one door to open. By the way, what's our... Uh... For the longest time, I didn't realize that the going into the score and then the gazette would tell you like your map completion or whatever. I thought you had to look at the damn thing on your uh, save, save file. So I totally didn't realize that and I would never know how far I got until I saved my game and it always irritated the crap out of me but now I'm glad that I know this is here by the way I didn't I didn't figure that out until uh, until I got about 60% into file or new game plus here so yeah it took me a while to figure it out it takes me a while to figure figure some things out this is this is the way I do things all right clunky oh that reminds me I was gonna I was going to disassemble that, uh, that Damascus uh, club and see what it got me. 
Because it doesn't have any gems, but it might have a... Well, I don't care if it has a... Uh, I don't really care if it has a good uh, weapon, because I already have the highest tier of the... I already have the highest tier. Oh yeah, that is the... No, that's the second highest tier. Uh, Grimoire Grip. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, unfortunately, it only has two slots, and holy intellect. That's a uh, lot of intellect. Damn, if that had a third slot, that would be beautiful. Oh well, it's not bad, that's for sure, but it's not it's not what I'm needing. Okay, no, I don't want to go that way. That way that way takes you the long way to the safe point. This way takes you the short way to the safe point. And of course you degenerate me before I have my stuff out. You rat bastard. I hate you with the burning passion of a fiery thousand sun. Whoa, what the heck was that? Every once in a while they do that random flourish on their uh Murdoch. I'm assuming that's gonna give me like uh, air resistance. Every once in a while, the weapons will do that random ass uh, flare when you're attacking. I guess air and earth. That's not too bad. I'll probably never use the amp thing, but it's not too bad. By the way, uh, I got rid of a, a ton of those uh, duplicates that I had in my uh, chest because out of like the 60 something available slots in the in the chest, those damn duplicates were taking up a good 10 or 15 slots. It was ridiculous. Alright, uh, teleport to... Where are we going? Um, oh, the auction block. So we need, like, not very not very much more HP. That's MP, whatever. Four more. Okay, yeah, we can wait around for that. No problem. And I'm still degenerated. That's great. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a few more MP here, and then... And then we'll teleport. That way I'm not completely a sitting duck when we get there. Alright. Beautiful? No? Okay. I always want to go to map so I can teleport. I know, I know it is under magic, but I always just go to map just because... Well, I don't know. I just do. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys have done that every once in a while too, don't lie. It's okay. No one's perfect. Least of all me, I'm the furthest thing, furthest thing from per perfect. No matter how much I want to tell myself, uh, I am not, or am, or whatever. Anyways, to the right, to the right, we're doing the opposite of what Beyonce tells us to do. Ah, you little evil bastards! No, seriously, these guys are evil enemies. It says so when you attack them. See? I would have lied to you guys. Well, I might tell a little white lie or something if it benefited me, but so far, that has not been the case yet. And a Pauli Pauline. Eh, those are okay. I can use that, I guess. Come here, you just little bastard. Stay still. Okay, fine. Don't give me anything. Alright, the gold key that I cannot reach for quite some time, and it appears to just be a treasure room. Are you serious? Okay, yeah. Works. I'm gonna be kinda mad if all the gold keys are just treasure rooms. And it's gonna do zero damage, because it did so absolute little. Great. Um, by the way, you know how you're supposed to like be able to lower enemy stats by a uh, Attacking their their uh, various body parts if they're human or whatever or human shaped or whatever. I don't think it works on those phantom guys because it's never happened ever that I've seen. I guess it only works on like uh, well human enemies or like goblins or something like that. I guess those guys are humans, not beasts, aren't they? I was hoping it would work on those uh, phantoms because they were non-boss varieties, and holy crap, that's a lot of Damascus. Okay, I can take all this, sure. Why not? Um, I'll take you, and ooh, close helm. That's actually a good one for combining. Plate mail, that's good. Uh, spiral pole, I'll check that out in a minute. Um, death sentence, Hitler's earring, and... Did I already have the uh, curse magic? I don't think I did, did I? 
You mean you finally get the curse magic in a new game plus? You bastards, of course they're gonna give it to you in a new game plus. Why else would they why would they give it to you in the regular game, those sons of bitches? Okay, uh Marduk, that's not what I care about. I care about Yeah, these closed helms are pretty good for making better helms. Plate mail is okay. Edgar's earrings, uh Yeah, nothing really that nothing really that great actually, you know what? I'm probably just gonna toss that. Um I don't think there's any uh Oh, there was some uh, gems in here. Ooh, human plus 30, nice. Okay, ooh, beast plus 30. I, I didn't think we would ever get a better beast thing besides the Orions that we have, and I think I have like a grand total of two of those. I think I threw one of those away by accident. Ooh, an undead plus 30, nice, nice. And finally, Beowulf. Ooh, phantom plus 30. Ooh, those are some, those are some good gems right there. I'm not sure how often they'll get used, but those are pretty good. Well, I gotta use this thing against somebody. Uh, let's see. Alright, uh, set up. Disassemble. Weapons. Death sentence. Yeah, it's got generics. Well, the, uh... The ri I was hoping that would be a better... A better grip. Oh, well. So when you have the, uh, yeah, the Orlando and the Igmius, or Agmius, whatever you want to call the damn things. Um, and finally we had another grip, uh, the spiral pull. Um, that's pretty good for a piercing pole arm. Unfortunately, I have horrible timing with the pole arms and stuff. I'm going to make some two-handed weapons eventually and use them for a little bit, but probably, if anything, that'd be like the last episode just to mess around or something. Like, against like a time trial or something. I'm just not very good with the timing of those things. That's not too bad. And then what was the last one? The Grimoire Grip? Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's attached to something, isn't it? Did I get any more blades? No. Oh yeah, it's that. It's that, uh, all right, let's disassemble this, and we should be good to go. All right, white rose. Well, that was fast, and now we are at a whopping 89%, I'm guessing. Nope, still 88%. All right, let's go ahead for one more, uh, one more area then, shall we? Says that was so fast. Um, where's that? Where's that save point at? Is it to the? Is it to the west or the south? It's to the west. All right. Uh, to our next destination. Let's see. We've already done the limestone quarry, the escapeway. Uh, do we have access to the one in Undercity West yet? I'm not sure if we do. Uh, we probably do. Oh, there we go. Tears from Empty Sockets. Uh, I know, okay, so we can go to the Sunless Way right there, I think. Um, I think there's another gold key right here, right? Yeah, let's do uh, let's do this Sinner's Corner one right here, and then we'll call it an episode. go. Alright. I'm gonna guess this is gonna be another treasure room. Oh, you bastard. You snuck up on me. You son of a bitch. And you're dead. Goodbye. Stand still. D d don't, don't you try to attack me. There you go with that nice, beautiful critical hit of death. I love it. Okay, so we want to go to the right a few times, and we should be good. Hey, there's another one. I didn't think you were 
is still alive. Or still there. Alright, the uh... There isn't anything else over here, right? Um... Yeah, okay, we've already been north, so we just gotta go to the, the right over here. Alright, there we go. Unlocked with the gold key. And, ooh, more glitch bastards and your degenerating the sons of bitches. Okay, now is a good chance to uh, wait for one of them to reappear. And get silent so I can't use my new radio search spell. Don't you worry. I have it in for you, buddy. If you want to silence me, then I am more than happy to unsilence myself and to... Uh, terrorize you with my new Radial Surge skill. Okay, stand still long enough for me to hit you. Alright, there you go. Now... And I don't have enough MP. Okay, that's the way to do it, I guess. I wasn't even trying to block that, but apparently it thinks I am. Okay, a critical hit for 212 when I'm trying to restore my MP, that works, I guess. And you poisoning me, you son of a bitch. There you go. Alright, now... Now can I do my radio surge? I can, yes indeedy. Yeah, look at all that damage. Uh, there you go. That's not doing a whole lot of damage, is it? Ah, it's because it's level 1. Were we hit with that at any point during the game? I don't remember. We might have been, but I don't remember. And I don't think we're going to get more of the books, because it's in a new game plus, and in order to get it, we'd have to, well, find more books, and that's not seeming very likely at this point. So in order to get that to level 4, you'd have to new game plus like four times. Yikes, that's a that's a real bastard move there, game. Okay, uh, let's head to the... let's head to the north. Hey, die. No, or not. There you go. There you go. Stand still so I can kill you. I can never get the uh, the timing on the damn combos after after I do like a, a special like a restore MP or something like that. If I do, it's very rare. There we go. Doing pretty good this time. And I got some MP back. That helps, I guess. Oh, so okay. So, we, we ended up going the right way because this, uh... Okay, that works out pretty well. Will you go to the damn room next to the one I'm at, you son of a bitch? Okay, uh... I just want to go through the doorway just to make sure that it counts. Alright, there we go. I just like to make sure it counts. And then we can go to the, uh... The east here. And I fall for the same trap. And another trap, and how many more traps are there going to be in this damn room? By the way, do any of you guys ever still remember directions by uh, Never Eat Shredded Wheat? I have to do that like every once in a while, otherwise I'll not remember which direction I'm trying to think of. Hey, it works. And that's all that matters, right? Alright. I don't even care that I don't have full health. I just don't like my uh, portrait down there to be a color other than light blue. There you go. Hey, there's... Hey, I think this is a, a different glitch because it's a, a different color and stuff. Ooh, that reminds me. I have my, uh... I have my new curse spell, don't I? And it's not got a very lot of range. It doesn't have a very good range, and... Okay, so these guys are called Deaths, and that that better not mean they have an instant death spell, because that would be, uh, very bad for my trying to stay alive. Okay, poison, I can deal with that. No problem.
You know, sometimes I think these guys just like to keep the chain going, even after they're dead, because it just seems like it. Either that, or I get really lucky with when my chain ends. One of the two. Nice crit, very nice, very nice. You know what? Eh, screw it. I'll use it. I was gonna use a angelic pan or pan or whatever, but I think I only have like three of the damn things. So screw it. And this should heal for a fat amount, 160. Yeah, close enough. Alright, uh, now where do we gotta go? Oh, just to the north. Alright, so we should we should be almost finished here. Excuse me. Yeah, hiccups. And do I hear a boss battle? No? Aw, here it is. The ultimate uh, workshop here. Nice. Does it go anywhere? No, it does not, but you know what? It has access to all the elements. And it actually looks pretty nice, too. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Well, guys, um, I think that's going to do it for this episode. And uh, you know I'm going to do it between episodes. Combined to no end, or at least try and fail. And report back with my inadequacies. So, uh, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a good night.